Coming up on Junkin' with Val and Dave, that's us. We're gonna visit Etowah, Tennessee, a million miles from nowhere, but more importantly, a million miles from the nearest strip mall or Walmart. These people really know how to put on a yard sale and we're gonna prove it to you. Not only that, but we're gonna browse through the local for sale ads and we're gonna take you to a flea market that's held at one of the last remaining drive-in theaters in the whole nation. We're gonna get into some junk that you won't believe. Stick around. Welcome to Junkin with Val and Dave. You know, Dave, you got to hand it to the town of Etowah, Tennessee. I mean, it was built by the l and Railroad, and then they abandoned it. I would have huge issues. I know, I mean, the train depot left, and a lot of people expected Etowah just to turn into another ghost town. But Etowah's on the comeback. And they've managed to preserve a lot of the original flavor of the old salad days, like the historic gym theater, the l and Railroad Museum, and the swing and midway drive-in where a guy can still ignore a movie on Friday night with his best girl. Oh, shucks. And then bring her on back to the flea market on Saturday. <laughs> Take me there. We're here, kid. Oh. <laughs> Step right up. Take a ride. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's something rare. That oh, look at that this. Magazine, that's rare. This is cool. Never, 73. This is cool. I think it might, how much do you want for this? Give me a dollar bill. Why do you have this? I want to know. <laughs> You're about the farthest thing from a teen girl I've ever met. <laughs> Let's see. I'm a jock. We, I, I deal with this. Is, I do this. I remodel houses and I trade with people. When I'm in their house, I trade with them. Oh. So I got a bunch of books and that just happened to be one of them. It is really cool. One dollar, huh? 50 cents would be nice. No, I, I, you can go say, I'll take 50 cents for it. Oh, oh he's camping like a, a vampire bat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. You like that, don't you? Yeah. You have any other like reptile body part items. Uh, yeah, we had the back scratchers. We didn't bring them with us today. They got the little alligator claw. Scratch your back with that. Yeah. I didn't bring them. I bet that I bet you can really scratch a back with one Oh, of those. you can scratch a back. Do some scratching. Yeah. Yeah. You get that itch. Yeah. Okay, how much do you want for Yeah. This I don't 50 cents. Now that's a nice part. See back in the days, the latest when they wore this them can can things. Yeah. Uh-oh, what is this? No wonder you're scared of the FBI. What is this? <laughs> no, but how much do you want for this? 50 cents. 50 cents. Okay. Okay. This is in really good shape. I don't know yeah. if you... Yeah. This is a pretty, pretty purse. I want you to meet Tom Epps. He's the owner of the Swingin' Midway Drive-In. Tom, first of all, I gotta ask you. It's a drive-in theater at night. It's a flea market in the morning. You're a genius. Where'd you get the idea? Well, I don't know. There's a lot of them that do that. A lot of them went to uh, flea markets to kind of help supplement things. And uh, business was kind of tough in the late 80s, so everybody kind of squeezed in a flea market, see if they could make a little extra cash. And it kind of caught on, and now almost every drive-in over the countryside's got one type of or another of a flea market now. So. Okay, Tom, Val and I have been walking around this place. We've seen some pretty, well, cookie stuff. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen for sale here? Boy, I don't know. There have been so many of them. I don't know if I could pick one out. Uh, let's see. Uh, I bought a septic tank auger here a couple of years ago. I thought that was pretty. A septic tank septic auger? Septic auger, uh-huh, yeah. That was pretty nice. Now, that's the only one of those I have ever seen here. We've had just about anything you can think of. It's been here, but uh, uh, hey. You talk about weird items, there's a lot of these things, I don't even know what they are, so it's hard to say. Tom, I'm gonna get back to shopping. Thanks for talking to okay, us. Okay, guys, thanks we'll a see lot. You Have a good time. Is this your Prince Albert in a can? Yes, $5. Better let him out before he smothers. 
<laughs> got you. I got you. You did. How much is this? Five dollars. You know it's empty, right? One of them has a little bit in it. Five dollars. I would yeah. expect, you know, like four dollars to be in here. <laughs> this radio is uh -oh. an authentic yes. vintage radio. And when you dial this in, right here you can pick up the Long Ranger. Uh-huh. <laughs> a little bit over to the left, and that is the Green Hornet. Wow. And the Jack Benny Show is right over here. Oh, the Happy Three. Get out of town. Yeah, see, there's three of them. I want to ask you about this owl. Uh -huh. Where did you get this? I made it. You made this? Yes. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful, and I've been looking for a macrame owl. I know what you guys are thinking at home. You're thinking, I wish I could get my hands on some of this stuff, right? <laughs> well, you can, because everything we buy on Junkin' with Val and Dave is, is auctioned off each week online at www.junkin.tv. Just log on and make an offer. That's right, and at the end of today's show, we're gonna show you the auction results for the things that we purchased here. Now, don't go away, because when we come back, Val and I are gonna visit some of the local yard sales here in Etowah, Tennessee. <laughs> no, you got a Bob and we. Bob and we. Okay. You're in, you're out. I'm everywhere. I'm over Bob. here. No, I'm over here.